Hello, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm so excited, just got this in the mail, so I thought I would do a coloring book review while I look at it for the first time. Um, this is a coloring adventure in the secret realms, the mystical lands of Ukana, Ukana, something like that. Um, illustrations are by Karen Myers. So excited about this book. I've waited for a while, saved up to get this book. Well, not only this book, a few books at one time um, through Amazon uh, for the free shipping. Um, so anyway, this is, I've not looked at this book yet, and um, I just kind of wanted to share that moment with you guys. So this is the front of the book. This is the back of the book. Oh, I love it already. This is going to be really cool. Um, the size, if I haven't said it already, is 8.5 by 11 inches. Here is the spine. And this is the thickness of the book. It, this is a, a pretty thick book. Um, the other one I got in the mail today um, was the Unbelievable Cryptozoology Coloring Book by Dover Coloring Books. This is the same size coloring book as far as um, size this way goes. Um, but you can tell the thickness difference. Um, this is a regular size Dover coloring book. And this is the thickness of this book. So, I mean, it's it's pretty thick. I'll do a review for the cryptozoology one later. Pages are uh, glue bound. Okay, so in, in the please note section, I've left it on here long enough for you guys to read it too, but it says the book contains 24 hand-drawn illustrations. Each picture appears twice. Um, this provides the opportunity to use a different color scheme or different media on the second copy. Pages are printed on one side only so that virtually any media can be used. It is recommended that you insert a blotter paper beneath the page that you are coloring. In case you couldn't see that on the screen, um, that's what this says right here. Um, as far as the paper quality, um, this is thin paper. Um, this is um, printer paper quality. There is nothing special about the paper on here. I would hesitate using any water-based um, medium on here. Um, watercolors um, would really rip up the page, I think. Um, but I will try that and uh, let you guys know how that works later. So here is the land of Uchana, I think is how you pronounce it. You zoom in on here. This is a really cool book. I like it so much already. I love it when they give you a little bit of background about the lands that they've created. Um, just because it kind of gives it a little bit more character. And this is a little bit about the history of the land that, sh that she's drawn here. So let me do a flip through. These are such cute drawings. I really like these. There is a lot of shading in these, um, but it doesn't look so bad that you couldn't color in it at all. It's There's plenty of room for color in here. Look, it even says House for We Folk. That is so cute. I love it. And once it gets um, to start repeating images, I will, I won't flip through the images that are repeated. Um, you break this spine real quick. Okay, so the spine is super hard to break in this book, just to let you know.
but the book would be easy enough to use felt tip markers on or even alcohol markers with um, a pretty thick blotter page below. Focus back in on that. There we go. So this reminds me a little bit of the Secret Village coloring book um, with uh, the different hidden places under the trees and stuff. But overall, it's a very cute book. I really like this book. I love anything that has to do with um, enchanted lands and stuff like that. So these are the um, pages that are already that I have already shown. So I'm not going to go through those, but I am going to flip to the back of the book to see if they gave us a page, a test page, and they did not. There is no test page in the book. So anyway, this is the back of the book again, and this is the front of the book. And again, this is Coloring Adventures in the Secret Realms, the Mystical Lands of Uchana, Uchana by Karen E. Myers. Fantastic book. Thank you for watching. Happy coloring.